um, it's a very interesting experience because going through the family court, it um, it allows uh, you to get rid of all the propaganda and brainwashing that we all have been indoctrinated since childhood. So when you see the depth of human betrayal, when you see the depth of uh, government depravity, it opens your eyes to so many things. And I am, uh, to some extent, uh, maybe to a large extent, I'm grateful <laughs> for that experience because I, I am now able to see through a lot of propaganda and a lot of uh, gaslighting and uh, and the uh, the manipulation, social engineering that we're all subject to. And I think that's that's very important because people who are uh, caught in this uh, family court uh, nightmare, um, they um, they tend to focus on that and they lose the sight of the bigger picture. And that's 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 the main theme of what I'm trying to expose and talk about on my page and in my writing uh, writings is the uh, the fact that family court is just a subset of government oppression that we are all experiencing. Um, the processes, the subversion. The, the, the direction is absolutely the same. Um, you see the uh, the propaganda, the uh, the flags, the use of language, the moving of the Overton window. It's all there. And family court is a key pillar for, for all of that because um, how dictatorships uh, start or how they endure and, and, and persevere by taking um, uh, by taking apart the family. It's right there in the Communist Manifesto. Uh, I, again, um, people who want, they may, may read my post, but... Um, uh, one of the prominent uh, ideologues of uh, the Soviet Revolution, uh, Kolontai, Alexander Kolontai, wrote that, uh, uh, and I'm rephrasing, paraphrasing, that uh, mothers mothers should forget um, that children are theirs. The children belong to the community, to the state. And we are seeing all that. So government is very clever. Uh, divide mm -hmm. and conquer has been the um, the method of uh, of uh, the ruling class for, uh, for millennia, right? Mm -hmm. And we can clearly see it everywhere. So it's separating the... Uh, uh, so in hatred between mothers and fathers, fathers and mothers, children are being used. Uh, we saw recently, I don't know to what extent you want to go with that, but the, the recent PSYOP that uh, endured for over two years, right? So people who uh, who took the uh, uh, the injection, people who didn't take the injection. So it's manufacturing hatred. It's dividing the groups to the, the smallest possible subset in order to, uh, to rule more more efficiently. Mm -hmm. Need to say it uh, outright. It's predatory government. We see predatory practices. And um, we see the courts and we see the whole cottage industry uh, around them essentially predating, right, preying on, um, on helpless uh, victim, victims. So uh, the, um, the common denominator for us should be due process. It is not broken. It's, it's made by design. It's designed mm -hmm. to work that way. That's what people need to understand, right? So mm -hmm. the system is designed to create orphans, leaving, leaving children without parents, without fathers, without mothers. This is how you break society. It's ideological. Or I think they're all sociopathic in nature, and they identify with these attorneys that are also with the same personality disorder that they recognize and relate to.